Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Crane CRM and in today's video tutorial we'll be checking out how to create a user in the Crane CRM itself. Now in Crane CRM an administrator has the rights to create the users and provide them permissions and roles, roles accordingly. So we'll check that out in today's video. But before we proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm in the at the back end of the Crane CRM itself and uh, we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the email, password and tapping on the login button. Now as soon as we are logged in, we'll see the dashboard initially. So now to create the users, what we need to do is the admin needs to go to the side panel and go to the settings section and here he has to go to the users section. Now under the users section here you'll find the complete list of users that you've already created. Now the users that you've created here would be available for selection while you're creating a lead. For example here you can see that we have Smitto, Sales Manager, MD, Example Admin and if I go to my leads here and I tap here on the add lead button and on the details section of the lead there uh, we have the sales owner section so what who, whatever or whosoever users that you have created all of those would be listed here and uh, the particular lead would be assigned to the particular selected sales owner now let me cancel that out and let's go again back to the users section and let's see how we can create the users but before that uh, if this is the first time that you're coming to this particular section then this particular section would be empty so uh, to create a user what you need to do is you just need to tap here on the create user button that would bring up this particular section to create a new user here we have two different tabs one is the general tab wherein you have to enter the name of the user his email address set the status as enabled enter the password for his login now using these details the user would be able to log into the crm itself and uh, using the email and the password that you have set here and under the permissions uh, the admin needs to select the group for the uh, particular user that we are going to create and uh, he has to select the role here as well in the previous video you would have seen how uh, we have created the roles there and uh, then you have to choose the uh, view permission for the particular user whether it would be global group or individual so now let's go ahead and let's uh, create uh, one uh, a user there so for that uh, let's enter the details there uh, so let me go ahead and let me keep create a uh, peter doe uh peter doe uh let's uh, enter his email we have set the status as enabled we'll set his password we'll confirm his password then we'll come down to the permission section here we'll choose the group for this uh, particular user so i'll select it as uh, test group one for the time being then we have to choose the role from the drop down we'll choose the role now the roles would be having different permissions and according to those permissions uh, the particular user would be able to access those uh, sections of the crm itself so uh, for now we'll be choosing it as lead creation and uh, for the uh, view permission i'll be setting it as individual the view permissions there and lastly you just need to tap here on the save as user now tapping the save as user would save the particular user and you can see that the user has been created successfully peter doe peter and webcool.com the status is active the creation date there now on the users page here you'll be able to manage the users as well to edit a particular user what you can do is you can tap here in the edit button under the actions column there if you want you can change the name there you can update the email uh, you can enable or disable the status of this particular user under the permissions you can change the group of this particular uh, user if you want you can change the role for this particular user uh, you can change the view permissions to global group or individual as well and after making the changes you can tap on the save as user to save the particular uh, changes that you've made for this particular user apart from that uh, you can also delete the users by tapping on the delete button here you have the filter options to filter out the users according to the id the name email their status whether active or inactive 
or the creation date so you can choose the start date and the end date for the same and then you have to just hit the enter button to filter out the respective users uh, you can also filter out the users using the id name email status uh, or the creation date as i've shown you under the filter options here apart from that you can also search the users from here as well by entering the for example entering the id uh, or name for example for example if i go ahead and enter the name we'll be able to figure out according to the name the users there uh, and so on and so forth we can choose to search the users there so that's how easily you can create the users by navigating uh, through the dashboard there and then coming to the uh, settings then going to the users and then tapping on the create user and uh, the particular user would be created now this particular user would then be available under the leads there uh, for selection so for example if i go ahead and tap on the add lead button and come down to the detail section within the detail section under the sales owner and choose here you can see that now we have the peter doe as well uh, to whom we can assign this particular lead uh, to so yes that was much about uh, how to create uh, and manage a user in the uh, Korean CRM and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.